I just read a book and uh, had a change of heart and realized I don't want to kill animals for my taste buds and that's just how it happened. What was book? Thi? It's called Life is Fair. It's a book about karma. I try to be vegan sometimes. I, I try and minimize my uh, uh, like my dairy intake. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, but I'm not a strict vegan. I'm okay. like uh, trying to stay vegan, but sometimes having milk <laughs> products kind of a person. Yeah. yeah, I can't imagine a Punjabi without paneer, dood. Yeah, it happens. It happens. It happens, right? Yeah, absolutely. So today, we have gotten together with a lot of difficulty. Our office has gotten together. We did a boardroom meeting. What should we eat today? Why are we eating so much? It's so difficult. What's so difficult about it? There are very limited choices. When with you have vegetarian a food? I no. would be okay having this conversation on an international airline with a, you know, with a person or somebody and I have fought with many of them saying that how can you say, uh, you know, vegetarian food is difficult. I, in a country like India, I think vegetarian food is very easily available. Yeah. And uh, I think there are lots of options. So, I hope you guys have done a good job. Yes, we have. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope we impress you with that. We've got you some vegan fruit from Yogi Sattva. Okay. So, let's begin the Sunday brunch. Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> So there you go. We've got a vegan now. pizza also for you. Whoa, that looks amazing. These are cookies. Uh, no, I don't like cookies, but what's so special? It's oh, just called nice Bake My Day. Hmm, yummy. I like it. Nice. So I just don't hmm. like the taste of mushrooms because when I was a kid, hmm. I had mushrooms and then my tummy just like I had a disastrous 48 hours full of pain. And ever since then, I've just kind of Never tried petrified of mushrooms. But also, I'm not a big fan of the, like, the kind of taste that mushrooms have. I don't like that kind of taste. Oh my god, first you are vegetarian. You have also reduced many things in that. So, what is a usual meal like? What do you eat? Breakfast, lunch, dinner? Normally, I eat Hindustani food. My mornings are usually uttapams or idlis or something like that. Because I like okay. to start with something very light. Hmm. Like, I like to eat a hot meal. Okay. Uh, because I, they say that's very good for your system, yeah. especially Ayur, in Ayurveda. They say that you should always start with a hot meal. Okay. Because you're, what do they say? Inner Agni or mm. something. Apparently, it's really good for that. Okay. Uh, and uh, I like rice because I think it's very light on the system. As opposed to wheat, I prefer rice. I do a lot of rice. So I usually start with something like that. Or I'll have oats or something, but that's mm. rare. I like to start with some light carbohydrates as opposed to like, you know, complex carbohydrates which take more time to break down. Um, lunch is. Indian or you know like falafel or Chinese sometimes like stir fried veggies or sushi or tofu regular stuff there's lots of options trust me maybe I need to take you around a little and show you all the vegetarian options <laughs> for sure and talking of your childhood Shahid you were raised by your nana in Delhi yes. am I right isn't yes. it always special to be raised by grandparents always like my happiest memories are with him hmm. and um, He's like the strongest influence for me as a kid. Mm. Of course, my mother was very was, was also a huge influence, but my nana ji was a big big influence in my life. He always used to, you know, take me to school, and after school he'd always take me out somewhere to grab a meal, or we just go for a walk, or he'd go buy me something. And so he was a magical personality in my life, and uh, a lot of I think who I am comes from him. 